Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We're on Hunter Hunter episode 125, and it's titled Great Power and Ultimate Power, which I can only assume refers to the fight between Netero and the King. So I'm excited if we're going to dive back into that. We almost lost Palm. Our girl almost went to the dark side, but she's back thanks to Kilua. I made some bold predictions at the end of the last episode. For anybody that wasn't there, I'm going to just run through them really quickly. I, for some reason, think that Poof and Yuppie are going to get there during the fight with King and Netero. And somehow they're going to end up getting Netero killed because maybe they kill him themselves because he's not prepared. He's not aware of them because he's so focused on the king or something like that. And the king is going to be pissed, maybe kill both of them. And somehow, and, and now that I think about it, I don't really know how this makes sense. It's a reach, but somehow Neff is going to end up helping the hunters. I don't know why I feel that way. I'm probably way off. I mean, the fact that she's doing what she's doing and abandoning the fight is because of the king. So it's hard to believe that she's going to just turn against him. But I don't know, just something, something inside me based on Poof saying that he, you know, he didn't need her anymore. Just some, somehow something like that's going to play out. So maybe Poof doesn't die and then he turns against her and she, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, but I just, I got some feelings. I got some feelings. So let's just dive into this episode. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe this is going to be why Neff gets really upset with them. It still doesn't make sense that she would turn against the king. Because in my mind, I was telling myself that she's going to help them actually get the, the king out of there. Because if Netero ain't here to do it, somebody else has to do it. And I don't know if they're powerful enough without her help to be able to do it. But when they realize that Poof left like a copy of himself there, I think she's going to be pretty pissed off. ナックルが口にしたのは、ゴンに伝えるためである。先に真実を述べることで、心理的に先手を打つ。だが、なぜ自分から言い出す？ナックルがここにいる以上、ユピーは彼を見逃したことになり、それを自分に黙っている。答え
何としても王のために小麦を直した直後かいやダメだ彼女を危険にさらせない直した彼女を誰に任せる夫婦もユピーも小麦を煙たがっている So this means that she does not plan on helping Kite like she said she would go do after she finished this. And it definitely means that I'm wrong about her suddenly being on their side. I don't know why I was getting that vibe. I just, it just she was just so broken that I was like, a lot could be possible right here. But now she's, she's kind of getting some of that resolve back and she's like, I must do this for the king. So I, I don't know, but I do still think that they're going to get there and be the reason that Netero dies. I, I, I don't know how they'll stop the king if he dies, but. I, I feel like that's got to be the case unless, unless Netero is extremely hurt, but manages to kill the king and then they show up and they're able to finish Netero because he's so weak. That might be how it happens because I'm, I just, I don't see any way in which anybody else is going to be able to finish the king unless the Zoldics somehow get themselves involved again. <laughs> おめえの言いたいことは理解したその上で俺は俺のやり方でやる Ooh, Okay, here we go This is what I've been waiting for Because the real fight started なぜ貴様が世の名前を知っている部下がお主の母親の臨終に立ち会ったのよ今はの言葉がお主の名だったそうだやる気になったかねわしに負けを認めさすことができれば教えてやらんでもないぞ殺さず気の済むまで飛車格落ちといったところだなすぐに積んでやろう王が応じると同時ネテロは飛んだいつからだ敵の攻撃を待つようになったのは。せやはあ。はあ。My manager says. <laughs> It works. It's a little bit of a different battle. 百式観音。So for a second, I thought that the king had stopped that rock from falling, but that's actually a part of Netero's powers, where like it's almost like time is slowing, which allows him to do his, you know, his little hand movements and stuff, which is why you see multiple hands when he does it. And I, and I want to say that that's what he did in the beginning with, with Neff, and I, I completely like forgot about that. And, and even Grandpa Zoldick said something interesting happened to me today. I was... Time restrained or something like that. So I assume it's because he was in the zone when Netero did it. Maybe he had never experienced that before. So that's that's a definite advantage. But what makes me a little bit nervous is we're seeing Netero get off with his attacks over and over and over. Like this is the fourth time. He did the first one where it like crushed him, the second one where it clapped him together. Then the third one was all the hands, the 99th hand. Now he's slapping him again. 
and we haven't seen the king retaliate a single time. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really concerned that when he does, it's going to be devastating. I don't know why. I just feel like they're building us towards that for some reason. Almost to make you think, oh, wow, Netero's getting off and the king can't seem to do anything. And then, boom, he's going to do some shit. <laughs> he's like yo i'm just happy that we met you know this is an experience that i've not yet had where i like there's an opponent that should be able to beat me and i have to fight and be the challenger he seems to like that i on the other hand don't this makes me nervous right this makes me extremely nervous so we'll see i still like i said i i, I keep saying it but i think that Poof and Yuppie are going to get there at some point in the middle of this battle or towards the end of it or something like that. But we also haven't seen what's going to happen when the king decides to start striking back. That's when shit's going to get real. That's what I'm waiting to see because we've already seen him handle the attacks. I want to see him dish some out and how Netero is going to handle them because that's going to be that's going to be the moment of truth. Like that's that's really going to be the moment of truth. And in the next episode or so, we might end up seeing the Gon and Nef fight because seems like she's going to be done soon and she's starting to contemplate what she's going to do when she finishes is she going to just attack going immediately you know what's going to happen but i also think kilua and palm well maybe palm isn't going to go but kilua is going to head back up there so i don't know if he's going to help going you know what's going to happen with with knuckles and uh and poof's clone outside he might ask him some questions you might end up seeing poof and yupi yupi fight and then they may not make it to this fight because they're going at it or something so i don't know there's there's still a lot of moving parts again crazy arc Appreciate you guys. Shout out to my patrons. Only one way to find out what happens in this fight. Catch you in that next episode, homies. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. Smoking so much, it's like all I show. I don't think they understand. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. I just be rolling, that's all I know. I don't think they understand. I just be rocking the boat. Got me a bop in a hole. I'm locked in the coast. I got me a shot in my nose. Everything I drop is cold. I be like, who want to blow on an L? We hit the hotel. A couple of bitches, a little Ciroc. Got one of my niggas. We feeling the vibe. It's comfortable, Kimberly.